taste good. good morning America and the rest of the world Ooh, ketchup. Take a video there. if you didn't watch this already there's a little card on top of the screen right there click the card and watch the video it's a really good one so how much did you weigh this morning I was actually 274 so I lost like almost six pounds since last night so a little bit better I walked uh, See my calves are not as watery. A little, little bit watery still. Let's see. Not as bad. A little bit watery. See that? That's a good. Uh, little bit. See that? Yeah. Yeah. It's on the plane. That's why you, people when you do shows, you gotta arrive in advance, like on Tuesday or Wednesday, and then you do cardio, get rid of the water. And when you fly, you do lower carbs, so you make sure you don't retain water. You have lots of fluids and stuff. But uh, it's weird because this time before Cali Pro, I lost four pounds flying, which is the first time in my life I lose weight flying. Just to tell you that my metabolism was like crazy. Hey, what's up guys? Today we are in Tennessee at our manufacturer, our Modern Nutrition. Uh, we are gonna be going over some new flavors, testing stuff, flavoring stuff, tweaking stuff. Um, so yeah, follow along today and uh, it should be pretty interesting. Yeah, we just uh, we just got back from Carbon Culture, um, one of their their smaller personal training facilities. Um, is super awesome. Can really appreciate and respect, you know, all the the quality to attention to detail that they put into that club. So we're really looking forward to checking out their new location, um, which is a grand opening. We're going to be there Saturday. Um, so if this video gets up for Saturday, guys, and you live in Tennessee, make sure you're there. But the flavoring was like generally, dude, we like. We crush flavoring, like you know some of the brands we were like, so when we get stuff in, usually I'm like, like, eh, it's not very good. Yeah, you heard There's a couple of flavors on those, I was like, these are actually damn good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, this one was supposed to be like a Sour Keys, but when I tried it, I was like, it tastes exactly like peach pea drinks. Yeah. So we called it peach drinks. That was the one of the better pink lemonades in the bread. Yeah, the pink lemonade, it has like a nice lemonade, so like the, real the authentic. Refreshing, yeah. Yeah. The one? Yeah. Yeah, I like, I like this one. I mean, to flavor it, like, I mean, you guys know how good your formulas are. Like, I mean, to flavor it that good with that kind of formula, it's pretty impressive. No, I was super happy. Yeah. Man. That blueberry, uh, uh, the blueberry muffin was incredible. Yeah. What's up, guys? Right. Hey, what's happening? All right. Wow. We got, we are both in R&D and product development. This is Shannon. This is Jackie, who runs the department. Yeah. Jackie's the one you've been on yeah. emails with yeah. quite a bit. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we have, of course, it's better. Yeah. Way better. So this is peach mango? Mm. Yeah. So really good. good. Wow. Very good. The strawberry, I think, would, I think they're going to nail the strawberry because that, that sweetness that you taste. Yeah. That's oh, what we need for the strawberry right now. Sure, raspberry lemonade. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Intra going down the hatch right now. Which one is this? Very good. Yeah. Mm, very good. That's a nail. Nailed it. Yep. No bitter aftertaste. Yeah, nothing. Really good. No, it's Perfect. Really good. Can't taste those mushrooms you know what that at reminds all. Reminds me of is the one that I really like. It's uh, I mean, don't put this on there. Intra watermelon next, guys. What is that? What is Intra watermelon. Intra watermelon. This is one of our most popular flavors right now. So it's killing it. Perfectly yeah. matched too. It's a lot easier than shipping the samples back. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> lemonade. So yeah. and it's hard to flavor these, right? At least they're hard to flavor because For some reason of they the earthy taste. I think, yeah, I think it's the pico too. And the too, texture maybe? a bit too. You can taste yeah. the difference. Yeah, I think it's the pico yeah. too. Yeah. I don't taste much sour, but it's still yeah. very tasty. It tastes Sweet. like gummy. Yeah. Yeah, it could be a little bit more sour. Yeah. Okay. If, if you want, if you want to, Dorian, what do you think? I think it's fine, but I know what you mean. Well, try again. The OG, oh the OG one was extremely tart, like lip puckering. Like it was great though. It was our number one seller. And well, like, like all it the tastes amazing. It tastes amazing. Yeah, it tastes like, like, it's like sour a gummy gummies. Bird. Should it be yeah. more sour? I don't know. Yeah, we can just increase the well, sour. Well, Carrie and I did like. We both tried that yesterday, and actually really liked yeah, it. Yeah, I like. <laughs> I liked it as is. Really, I wanted the nice colors. Yeah, yellow. Oh my god, you look amazing. Oh, thanks. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's yeah. That is the <laughs> All right, so what we'll do is um, we're gonna skip pack past a lot of stuff. We'll yep. go kind of where everything starts. So instead yep. of kind of showing you backwards, we'll go to the back corner and then Start walk there. our way through production. Great. If that's cool with you guys. Yep. 
the funny thing is they decided to buy this. I don't know if Brent's giving you the whole backstory. So we started up in Illinois with like just two little bottling lines, nothing. Didn't have yeah. like a lot of open orders because they had just kind of broken off from Pernova to start this. Yeah. And then this came up for sale just as an asset sale. Um, they have a business in Utah. They were kind of merging everything. So they came down here to like window shop and they're like, no, this is way too big. There's no yeah, way, we like, like maybe in like five. Garage, basically before. So to come to this is like, wow. how long has it been? We took it over July 1st of 16. Wow. So for, this so you guys. day one, literally That's I come awesome. out to like address the 110 employees. We don't have a working computer in this whole place. Dude. So it was like the most scared, like, this I'm like going, awesome. what did I do? Yeah. Kind of going, this work we have not one working computer we have no business we'll figure it out <laughs> so basically like right here is everything's in mounted here so you can see it's all raw materials yeah. and what it does is we test every ingredient so it comes in you can see like the blue caps the blue caps means it's uh, actually being tested so they take a bag they go into these sampling rooms right here where it's GMP full um, full environment pull the sample run it to the lab Test it. Then once it actually is tasked for um, assay, ID, all the good stuff, then it, like you'll have a green cap, and then the green cap means they can actually start to put it in the racking. Okay. So, but you can see every single thing we test it. We do test it. Yeah. So every lot. So like this college. So even if you get in like say like uh, cluster dextrin, you test yeah. it. Yeah. Even from the trademark companies. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Standard we've held. So like. That's awesome. But what we do is like you can see here, this is the lot. So we test basically one sample from this lot, but like college, and I'm sure if we look down here, these Different are all the same lot. There will be multiple dollars. lots, so yeah. we have to test every single lot. Wow. So then they're put in these racks, and then basically <laughs> like a work order would be um, assigned, and the work order basically starts with what's gonna be blended, but it yep. needs to be measured. So all of this is jobs that, all the ingredients they're gonna need, then we'll go in there to get basically measured out. And the nice part is, since we changed the system since we first started it was all used to be very manual yeah. now obviously it's barcoded in and it does the math for you i mean so the last thing you want is obviously relying on human error yeah. then it's put in measured out then the scraps whatever is put back and then it goes into blended which then we'll see blended super sack and then the next work order will be the packaging labels that get inserted in which go into the powder for mine so you kind of see it kind of all come together here yeah, and then you can see it's all boring right there. Like the biggest thing, the biggest spend in this whole place is the HVAC. Um, as you know, the gym, you spend money in HVAC. Like this one, not only is it a big facility, like we only blend when the relative humidity is under 40%. So like to keep it in that environment, obviously that thing's gotta be cranking. So we were lucky what we bought the facility on uh, from the asset sale was equivalent to what they spent on just the HVAC. So they spent, I mean, good for them, but like, spent six million dollars basically on an HVAC. Wow. So that's but one nice thing is in Tennessee, it's like today's cooled off a lot, but like in the summer, it's super humid. Yeah. And uh, the environment here would be so hydroscopic, we would just have products clumping wow. left and right. So. Well, we're flow sign now, cause they video on me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they video on me, man. Right. <laughs> I like TV. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> We have basically ribbon blenders, so big ribbon blenders. To give you an idea, like these are 200 cubic foot blenders, so equivalent to like if we're making your pre-workout, we'd probably do about uh, 2,500 kilos of blend. So what's uh, your HD? It's probably 300, 400 grams. So probably like we could do technically almost 5,000 units in one batch of that blend. Yeah, and the blend time is generally anywhere from like 22 to 30 minutes, so it gives you perspective. Of more of your time's cleaning. I mean, clean in between obviously spends more, yeah, spends more time than actually blending. A lot of caffeine. Yeah. Then, so the blend's done here, no. like one of the super sacks, and then all the packaging we have stored on the other side, so they'll insert all the packaging, the labels, and then the super sacks, you can see the white, is the powder. The next room then is where they start to drop the powder, powder fill packaging. Then everything is basically gravity fed, so the obviously sacks are hoisted, it's put down. Um, the cool part is uh, we have like cone mills and we have mills in there, so anything like basically has screens, so anything that was formed will get caught. And then also one last time it gets milled, 
so the product even comes out finer, yeah. so there, there's no clumps. Yeah. There's even like ingredients like beta alanine, they come in clumpy. Yeah. So like it'll come through, it'll get milled, it'll get put yeah. in the bottle. Then obviously it starts to get filled here. Then right there is a check wear. So like example being like, uh, say one of your products that the fill weight is 400 grams, we'll allow like a three to 5% um, variance, but only on the high side. So we yeah. set the minimum at 400, go up to 420. If it's below or if it's above, it gets automatically kicked off and they have to measure it that way. Then heavy metals through there. Uh, can we see the protein? I haven't seen it yet. What's that? Can I oh, see yeah, the protein? I'll give you, a bottle too. Yeah, like, you, haven't you haven't seen it? No. Oh, no shit. So, Dorian's never seen the Pro EG protein yet. This it is yet. the it first time. When we already left. When we already left for the States. It's a real deal, man. What? So, whatever ship manager has the best ship for the week, they get to carry the belt for the no week. <laughs> Wrestling back in the day. <laughs> yeah, wow, label turned out really nice. The shark. I think the label is really The quality good. of this uh, label person is pretty good. I never used them before. Uh, First yeah, time. they turned out really good. I think they, First time. They pop too. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. really nice. A little more gold than our other ones, I think, but it looks really nice. Wow. I like it. I think that yeah. really looks good. It does look sharp. You couldn't go a lot with it, but just that little, yeah. I think, is. Really good. Yeah, I like. I the, love uh, this shrink wrap. Awesome. That's exactly what I would say. I like that too. Beautiful. The one thing that we're uh, deciding though is like, I'm like, should we stay with round edges or square? It's the one thing we were on this. Yeah. We I had, like round. We had, this a, is we had round. a cut on our other labels. They're too big by accident. And then when they cut it, it had to be square. And it's on our pre-workout right now. And I'm yeah, like, let's take like, a look at it. Yeah, I think I because like, it's yeah. a round bottle. Yeah. yeah I think round one, almost goes better than the other one. Complement it. Cylinder like. Yeah, you can keep that. Awesome. I like it. See that? Chocolate for your muffin and this one. Chocolate. Yeah. Which one do you choose? Huh? Oh, double chocolate. Double chocolate. Very muffin. Wow, look at that shine. Angle it? Wow, gorgeous. Good product so far. Oh, so happy. Yeah. The formulas are badass. Yeah, oh, thanks. The pre I don't oh, think I've seen eight grand on the Citroën, and so. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He's very like. Opinionated on formulas, obviously. So like, anyone we bring in, it's usually there's like something wrong with it. He was yeah. like, "You got the Tim approval yeah, on day yeah. one." <laughs> it's bad that you're spoiled here. You'll see even like traditionally a good formula, and you'll see and you're like, that's trash. Yeah. Yeah. But that's good, it's good formula. Yeah, that's good. We want to make sure all that's the awesome. Are covered, right? Yeah, you know the best it can be. Yeah, like, so. honestly, it's a one scoop, two scoop, and really yeah. one scoop is like a normal pre workout yeah. for a lot of people. Yeah. So that's yeah. Yeah. it's a true one scoop, two scoop. It's awesome. Yeah. This is the test. Yeah, so we can do raws, we can do finished goods. Um, I think I told you it's actually considered a third party lab, so oh, that's great. it's actually branched off from Armada, which is good. So then, that's like, perfect. if you ever got testing products. done, it's actually a um, third party lab. Oh, that's so, great. Yep, so we use it internally and then we can use that's it externally. That's what we have on all our products right now is third party yeah, testing, right? Absolutely. And why is third party yes. testing so important? Because you basically, like, well, you have to be ISO certified, which means you have methods and you have justification, but on top of it, like if you just use a contract manufacturing lab, it's like almost looked like it's uh, viewed as like they're never going to give a bad result. If going yeah, third party it. shows it's validated by yeah. someone outside of yeah, it's unbiased. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But also the third party, if it is ISO certified, has a lot of uh, validations that make it actually. If they sign off on it. It has to be what exactly? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So like technically, like this lab doesn't even report. Like they can't even technically like report into me or because it would be a. Um, conflict, conflict of yeah. interest. Yeah, so it's actually isolated, even though we use some of the services internally too. We'll go to the fun part now, which is the product development lab this way. Great. So. Oh my goodness. This is where the magic happens. Shannon! Hey, <laughs> he's working so yeah, hard. Awesome. We got Natalie, Courtney, and Bryson. Cool. Thank you very much. I want to see if they can match this one. Because uh, we never rice. tasted it yet, I really like the rocket pump yeah. on these guys. To match this one, yeah. they want to match this one too. How are you guys on revisions right now? Okay. They're done. Revisions are done. Yep. Let's go. How are you so fast? 
like, you guys have the show Art Attack? You guys watch that, right? This is like Art Attack, when it's like, he comes out with the masterpiece, it just instantly really This is the smart group, so I tried to next day too much. Yeah. I come out with another basic amino acid, it's to be called Amino HD. Yeah. Basically what I want to do is, you know our intro has like Pico2 in it, Spectra in it, yeah. expensive ingredients. Just do EAAs. I want, I want to do straight EAA and BCA, like four grams EAAs, two grams BCAs, with just some Aquamine, maybe coconut powder. There's a black it's just, Yeah, just basic, and that way it's better price point, more servings. People yeah. can drink it during the day, cardio, you know. 100%, I think like, I do like the, I'm a big fan of like doing the BC, like on your label, doing uh, like a, mat a matrix, so you basically have BCA, then you have EA, so then yeah, like people are up. confused. Like, well then they're not like, okay, I'm getting both, like yeah. versus like people who make it EAA and the BCAs are inside, right inside of it, of it yeah. and they don't know it. I like breaking it down yeah. like that too. And I think like a right dosage is like somewhere between a total of like, seven and ten grams yeah to come back do some testing in the airbnb and stay over there if that's okay uh you know cool place yeah we yeah. love it there yeah we, we feel really uh, appreciated and uh you know it's pretty cool. it's gonna be fun man. i'm glad yeah. you guys came it's gonna be yeah, a fun weekend sure, yeah. too you guys the logo there nice the biggest nicest supplements food supplements manufacturer i've ever seen in my life and i've seen a few all right so that was that, and that's a wrap, and now, let's go train! <laughs>